Hey, what's going on everybody? Froggy Stonks here. Nothing I say is financial advice, entertainment purposes only. What a Monday. What a Monday. Last Friday, I announced that I was getting into Rumble. I got in at $13 and got out at $16.56 today. In and out, baby. Quick in and out. Don't fall in love with the play. Uh, everybody that was following me on this made near 40% today. So a nice little profit. I also decided today right here at this pump around 386 to take out a put on the SPY out till October 26 for 378 I believe is my put. I think what's going to happen is you're going to see some uh, decent crash event coming up in October after the fiscal year change. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of margin calls. We got some hurricanes with earthquake in Taiwan. We got uh, Ukraine and Russia still going on. There's a lot of things that could pop off between now and then. And with the economic stress that everybody is feeling currently coming into the holidays, I don't think it's gonna be good. I don't like that it's gonna be bad or that it looks to be bad. I want everybody to be happy and have money and get along. But I'm gonna play the downside of the market because it's gonna hedge against my AMC position. If I'm wrong and the market flies up and we go back uh, to the bullish trend, my AMC and APE goes up and I'm okay and I only lose my premium on my put on the SPY. But if we crash and AMC APE dip a little more, then my put's gonna run in the money hard. I'm gonna make that extra cash, sell at the bottom, buy the dip AMC on the way back up or even buy a call on the SPY for the way back up. But October historically is a terrible, terrible year for bad market conditions. 1929, 1987, and 2008 was the worst part of the crashes was in October. So that's what I'm doing with that. AMC and APE, again, little down day today to be expected. We know we're being manipulated. 43 million FTDs on August 22nd were somehow covered off the threshold list with absolutely zero price action. I think they covered them in the dark pool. That money is all sitting there. Eventually it will have to hit the tape. And when it does, we will run. My new strategy on AMC since, I, I am not gonna say the DD is done because there's always new DD, but I know 2023 is a masterly huge box office. It's gonna be one of the best in 20 years. We also will have the branded credit card and we also will have the retail popcorn in grocery stores in 2023. Overall, between popcorn, and the branded credit card, it could bring in 1.5 billion extra dollars a year. And with the major box office up and coming and Adam Aaron looking to possibly be buying more locations away from Regal, they could have a positive 2023, which would shove my opinion, if he doesn't dilute Ape, shove us into the $30 range, which then if we're above 20, he can dilute, pay off AMC debt, and then boom, he needs a little more time. I'm impatient, I get it, so my strategy now is to just forget about it. I have my APE, I have my AMC, I have a thousand shares direct registered with computer share. I'm just gonna forget about it for a while. I'll hashtag tweet AMC every once in a while and go to the movies, but I'm done with the day-to-day, everyday pound in AMC this, AMC that. It's just burning people out right before the holidays. When people finally give up and decide they want to sell their AMC, which will eventually happen, and unfortunately, around the holidays when financial times are tough, is when it'll squeeze. When the volume returns to the stock, we will see a massive event. I know a lot of people aren't going to like what I'm saying, but there are going to be people who decide just to say, I'm done with it, I can't do this no more, and unfortunately, they're going to end up holding a bag, they're going to get left behind, and they're going to be sour grapes, and it sucks, but that's the market. So my strategy we either squeeze and I run and I take my tendies and I buy back in on the dip or we don't and I watch 2023 unfold while I make some other hot plays like we did Revlon, like we did BBIG, like we just did rum. It was awesome. Just this last 60 days, I've brought in over $25,000 in some quick in and out plays. So I'm making my money back up from anything I've lost from the AMC Ape downside, which again, I'm going to hedge with a SPY put. So if the market crashes, my SPY goes in the money, I can buy the dip. If it doesn't and it goes up, I lose my premium or half of my premium, but my AMC and APE recover, which will put me majorly in the money. So that's my strategy. 
Uh, I, I tweeted it out right here. AMC squeezes or I hodl until 2023. Year end to see popcorn and credit card revenues push AMC to $30. A major 2023 blockbuster year. That is all. We'll be focusing on other plays in the meantime. When y'all realize the meme lords lied to you, I'll still be here for hugs. And in that, Citadel Air came at me out of nowhere with Sal Meme Lord two weeks ago, a week ago, and yesterday. Out of nowhere. The guy who runs Citadel Air, his name is Chris Brett. He came at me with his second profile. Come to find out, he is a seven count felon out of Hampton, Virginia, charged in, I think, New Hampshire, for one, impersonating an officer, two, entering a home of a third, a, a home with a 13 year old boy in it and entering the home and searching the home while the parents weren't home. And this guy was impersonating an officer, bouncing checks, cashing bad checks, doing all kinds of shady shit. This guy literally is in here trying to scam apes after all his felonies. It's absolutely insane that people tried to stick up for him. Past that, the Fed rate hike, I believe, is Wednesday. They're going to be talking about it tomorrow. FOMC meeting's coming up. Unusual Whale's going to have a big space call. Rate hike, place your bets. Here's the poll. My guess is they come out and they do a 100-point rate hike. I think they need to do it because they know inflation started to creep back up. And if they do, it's going to shock the market. That is why I believe the SPY will take a downturn in the upcoming days, if not through October. The new fiscal year is going to hurt. The housing market's in the dumpster. There's nothing good going on. They... Oil's expensive, gas expensive, food is expensive, and everybody's gonna price gouge through Christmas. It's gonna be a bad situation. So we got 254 votes so far. 2.4% say 25.3.1 say 50, 45.7 say 75, and 48.8 say 100. 100 BPS crashes the market, doubt it. Well, I'm telling you, the SPY is the only index that I've seen that has not come back to retrace right here it's pre-pandemic high. There's a lot of money in it, I get it. The 370, 364, 365 bottom looks pretty strong, but if they do a 100 basis point rate hike backed with some kind of weird, groundbreaking, horrible news, which always happens, you guys, every time there's some type of event in the market that's predictable, they throw in an unpredictable thing. We've got a couple hurricanes. We had the earthquake in Taiwan, China, Russia, Ukraine, all this craziness going on. So I'm expecting with the rate hike, we're gonna see some type of bad news and it's gonna drop the market, the SPY back down to this 370, 365 range. If it doesn't hold, we go down to 330 and my put is gonna run insanely in the money. Again, if it flies up and I'm wrong, all my long positions go in the money anyways, and I only lose my premium. So it's a beautiful play. That's what I'm doing. Man, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, you know, I told these guys on Twitter, I said, if you come at me, you better know what you're doing. I will come back and defend myself, and that's what I did. And it was really sad to see some OG apes come to the defense of the Citadel Air guy who's a freaking felon. The FBI was after this dude. It's absolutely insane. So anyways, Sal got put in his place. Citadel Air got put in his place. I don't care, Sal. Sal attacking the community, literally attacking the community with his tweet a couple weeks ago, saying everybody is stupid, does not de deserve to be retweeted by Adam Aaron in any way or form. I think they're fraudsters and I think they're bad for the community. But on that, like I said, I got some more gift cards to hand out this week. I'll be hitting them probably Thursday and Friday. I am streaming on Rumble and I'm streaming on YouTube now. So please, if you can, like and subscribe. It pushes it out into the algorithm, which helps me raise more money to generate more gift cards to give back to you guys. And I post my earnings every month at the end of the month. And then whatever is in there, I give back in gift cards because I'll tell you what, I don't need YouTube money. I'll make money on my damn trades. Y'all have a great week. Let's watch the uh, Federate, uh, Federate go on this week, and uh, I'll be in Unusual Whale Space Call. You always get good information from there, and hopefully maybe Terrible 808 will want to host a Space Call 2 on Wednesday, and we'll have a rate hike meeting, and we'll watch the market react. You guys have a great week. Froggy Stonks out.